you know, I'm going to my fourth Paralympic game, so I think, uh, you know, it's been uh, an, a very nice journey. I got the chance to to, to compete in, in great competitions, travel around the world. I'm, I'm seeing Paris as uh, an opportunity for our team to do well, right? So, and after that, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after the games. If I, for sure, I'm gonna take a break and, you know, evaluate what I wanna do. Uh, I do have some, uh, you know, some intentions of maybe coaching at some point one day. So I'm taking co coaching courses. But, I, you know, I, I don't know for sure what I'll be doing, but I'll just take the time I need to make that decision. But I'll always be involved in the sport because I'm so passionate about it and I, I love it. The fun part is that even if I decide to transition to something else, I'll always play rugby as long as I can when it comes to the club level or provincial level. Um, so I will always have uh, you know opportunities to, for competition, at least for the next hopefully 10 years, we'll see. But um, I do want to stay involved, right? So it's nice sometimes in, in a career or in life to have different challenges. So I, you know I'm kind of looking forward to that too at some point. Yeah, I mean, uh, we as a family, we love sports. And my brother's involved in hockey. Uh, my, my, my parents are always there to support us, to travel to competitions with us. They were, you know, helping us go uh, when we were younger. We were hockey players, so bringing us to the uh, to the rink and whatnot. And same with when I started playing rugby early on. So it's it's great to have that support uh, with, my, with my brother, having those conversations about, you know, about sport. Uh, it doesn't matter which, you know, hockey or rugby. It's kind of cool to have that bond with uh, family members. The future right now, obviously, um, we don't have a, a huge depth of players um, um, in, in Canada, but we're working towards improving that. Uh, obviously, with the COVID years, it was tough to, to recruit players, but now we're getting back into more competitions, you know, more programs in Canada, so it's going to get better. Uh, me, I would love, to, uh, you know, to, to continue being a, a leader in the sport uh, in my community, in you know, uh, in the Ottawa area, um, coaching the team, and eventually, you know, sharing my, my knowledge and my, my experiences with uh, other other athletes in Canada to make sure that the Canadian teams co will compete in the next Paralympics in LA and then in in Brisbane, right? So we want to keep that legacy of uh, of the success of Wheelchair Rugby Canada. To speak for myself, obviously it's a passion, right? It's a passion of the sport, but it's also, there's also a community feel in wheelchair rugby where um, it seems like it's more of a family than a business, I would say, right? So we have the that bond. A lot of people, like a lot of the athletes are quadriplegics, have spinal cord injuries that, you know, had, you know, suffered an injury, had to go through rehab and found that sport and it, it helped everyone to have a better quality of life, right? And meet other people and be more independent. So it's more than just a sport, right? So I think that's what we love about it. We want to share that. If there's a new person that gets injured, um, and it's at the rehab center. We want to share our experience, so you know they 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 can have the same um, quality of life as we have as athletes. I always had uh, great support from my community. Coming from a small town, uh, grew up in, in the Marionville, which is like very small. Now living in, in Ambrun, um, like even after the Paralympic Games in 2012, uh, they actually named the park after me in uh, in Ambrun. So you know my nickname is Pico. So there's like a Pico Park. So um, I've always had, you know, great, great uh, support from friends, family. A lot of people know, know know us because it's such a small community. So, you know, when I go to big events like this, these are all the people I keep in mind when when I when I compete and knowing that they have my back. So it, it's a great feeling.